Hey everyone, it's Leanne Epp. Welcome back to DIY Beauty on Purpose. Today I am bringing you a Father's Day video where I'm going to make several DIYs to put together for a tablescape for Father's Day. I am very excited because I have never done a Father's Day themed video and today I get to do so. So come along with me as I create several DIYs and get a beautiful tablescape for Father's Day. All right, guys, so before we get to the DIYs, I want to tell you about these beautiful and very talented women. Antoinette from Simple Yet Chic invited us to join her on this um, themed Father's Day themed video. And so we are collaborating with several ladies. So I am going to go over their names and all their videos are going to be linked down below in a link in my description box. So we have Kelly from The Diva Den. Lisa from Lisa Burningham, Rosa from Home Loving, Haley from The Farmer and the Southern Bell, Fanny from Creations by Favi, Anna Lee from Anna Lee Ashby, Antoinette from Simple Yet Chic, Kenya from Kenya Decor Corner, and Sherry from Pretty Simple Sherry. And of course, Lena, myself, from DIY Beauty on Purpose. So again, when you guys are finished with this video, please head down to the description box and click on the link and visit their videos. And if you are visiting from their channels, welcome and I hope you enjoy this video. All right, guys, so as you saw earlier, I was spray painting just the front part of these tin cans or tin containers. I got these so long ago from the dollar spot at Target, literally like, like five years ago <laughs> and I kept them and so I am I painted just the front portion of it and now I am going play I'm placing where my daughter is helping me place these decals letters from the Dollar Tree and we're spelling the word dad and what I want to do with these is I spray painted the gold I'm going to place the decal in the front and then I'm going to paint the tin cans. And then the hope is to then remove the sticker and have the letter come through in the gold. At least that's the plan. So I am using Rust-Oleum chalk paint and the, this one is the Coastal Blue. It's a beautiful blue. If you've never used it, I love it. It has like a denim tone to it and really good coverage. It's chalk paint and I love rust -Oleum paint. I do have it linked down below in my Amazon store. So I'm going to give these uh, tin containers two coats of the chalk paint and I'm just using my chippy brush from, um, I get these at Lowe's or Home Depot. They're a little better than the ones you can get at the Dollar Tree. Although I do get the ones at Dollar Tree and I use them for, um, you know, like things where I would just have to use ones, like any oil-based paints or something and then throw away. All right, so here's what's happening. <laughs> so as you can tell, my plan did not work. The decal was stuck and it did not work. So I decided to then cut the, the word dad in a Cricut vinyl and I'm just going to spray paint the letters and let it dry and then instead of pulling the sticker off, I'm just going to then place the gold letters on top. I should have done this from the very beginning. I don't know why I did not think of it, but hey, you live and learn. So this worked out really well. And um, it was actually a lot easier to do it this way. But nonetheless, again, you live and learn. So I'm, I'm uh, oh my gosh, I'm writing the word dad on the tins because it's all going to make sense here in a few. Um, and this will be all part of the centerpiece for the tablescape. All right. So again, part of the decorations, I'm going to take this dowel. It's a three foot long and I'm not sure what the diameter is and I'm sorry for that but I did cut three pieces and they're 12 inches each and I am using my miter box that I got on Amazon it is also linked down below in the in my Amazon store I normally use my miter saw but for something simple like this and small the miter box works all right, so after I cut those, I put those to the side. And now I am going to use a paper bag that I got from the Dollar Tree. They come like a whole bunch in a little packet. And I'm just going to cut several uh, kind of uh, banner-like, so little triangles. And I'm going to cut six of them. 
because we are going to make a banner. So I am going to cut these out and then I am going to use a permanent marker to spell the words we love on them. Now I am going to be hole punching a couple of holes through all of them. I'm just going to do them all at once. And I am using my hole puncher. This thing is amazing, guys. I have it. I believe I have it on my Amazon store link down below. And then once those holes were punched, then I am uh, grabbing some. This looks like jute twine, but really is more like a rope. And I'm just going to thread the little banner triangles on to it and I'm starting with you know so I'm working my way back so um, I'm gonna spell it backwards so that I know how much to cut and have enough for our little banner all right so now to put everything together for the centerpiece I'm just going to put some floral foam inside the little tin containers and these uh, faux grass florals I got on Amazon, I love these. <laughs> They're just a good quality and I have used them in several of my decorations. I also have it linked. It's also in my Amazon store linked down below. But it's just, I've like I said, I've used it for several projects and I really love the quality of them. So I'm going to take and put two on each one and just uh, fan them out you know fluff them out and I didn't show this on the on the video but I did add some moss to the bottom so you don't see the foam and then I'm going to add the dowel to the middle of it um, and I thought I would put three like a dowel and all three but I ended up just putting it on the outside too so that's that <laughs> What I'm doing here, and I apologize that you can't really see, but I am just hot gluing it to the very top of the dowel. So that way it hangs like a little banner and I can just stretch them out um, and then have them just hang like a little banner. So basically it says we love and then the tin container spell dad. All right, so now onto my other DIY. I am going to hand create here um, or freehand a little tie so this is my version of a small little tie <laughs> and then I got this uh, craft paper that I got also months ago probably over a year now and I never used it and I finally decided to use it for this project because I didn't have anything else and I wanted these little ties to have ideally I wanted them to be blue but I didn't have any blue paper so I thought I would just cut out anything that has blue on this <laughs> on this paper and that's what I did so I was able to fit all four ties I'm going to make four because I'm going to make four place settings and I'm going to cut them out and again just making sure at least for my theme that all of the little ties have some sort of blue on it and I picked these colors because it's my husband's favorite colors his office is decorated with these colors and it's like browns and blues and golds so that's why I'm going with it all right so then I grabbed four uh, paper bags and I'm just going to fold the top these are going to be meant to put in some sort of like snack dessert so maybe a cookie or whatever we want as a dessert so um, I am not putting in it now of course because Father's Day hasn't come yet but when the time comes, it would be a great little spot to put in a snack. This paper here is basically just the inside of an uh, used um, wrapping paper. 
and I saved it because I just thought it was great quality. And I'm just gonna fold it into about half inch, no, not a half inch, about an inch. And then I'm gonna, uh, it's gonna be doubled so it's nice and sturdy. And then I'm gonna cut them so it's gonna be like about five inches long and about an inch wide. And this is going to be, what I'm gonna create is little shirt, dress shirts with ties. So what I'm gonna do with those is bend it like so. So I'm gonna do it again so you see, you have it like that and then you bend it to the, where the two points meet in the end. And then I saw this on Pinterest, guys. This was like complete Pinterest inspired. And so I'm gonna leave, or I'm gonna open the bag up so that it's easier to, to put on. And then um, I'm going to hot glue the collar, if you would say, of the shirt to the top first. So just a little bit of, of glue and you want most of the collar to stand up, you know, so to be above the bag, the top of the bag. And then add the little tie inside of it. So and you just put it wherever you want. I just kind of eyed it out to what I thought looked okay. And I'm just gonna hot glue it all together. And the back is gonna remain you know, open it's gonna, or fold it, but you can open it up to put any snacks you want. Aren't those the cutest thing you've ever seen? <laughs> I just thought these were so cute. And there is that. All right, so for my final DIY, I am going to use the remaining, the remaining uh, strip of vinyl that I spray painted gold. I'm just gonna cut some, cut some strips to, they're about two inches wide or two inches long. And I'm going to make bow ties using napkins. I got these napkins at the Dollar Tree and basically I'm just gonna grab the square napkin and just fold it in half. And I'm just gonna create like a bow. Um, just scrunch up in the middle and then I'm going to use the golden strip. Again, I used these because they were already spray painted but I could have used jute twine and that would have looked fine. But I wanted it to have more of a bow tie look. So I thought this would work great and I, it was a great way to reuse the leftover vinyl. And then I realized that it looked a little more like a girl kind of bow. So I did um, stretch out each end. I don't know if that makes sense, but you just stretch it out and then it looks more as a bow tie. And then that's it. I made four of them for each place setting. And that's what I'm talking about. You just kind of stretch it. All right, so now I'm gonna put everything together, the starting with the banner and just putting it facing the outside, basically facing the kitchen. So um, it's like the main thing you see and then placing the other centerpiece in the center. These greeneries I just recently got at at home. They were having a sale on f summer florals and I just thought they were just beautiful. They have like that subtle green and they had different types of greenery. So I thought it would be cute to just add them to add more texture to the tablescape. And right now I'm just kind of placing and eyeing them, you know, just like dry fitting, I guess, to see what I want to do. But um, later on, I kind of hide the stems and uh, make it work a little better. Okay, so now I'm going to place the plates. These plates I got at Dollar Tree so, so long ago. They're one of my favorite plates and we don't use them daily. We use them for special occasions, but they're just so pretty. They have a very pretty form. And then these paper plates I got at Target Dollar Spot recently and they were a dollar for about six of them. And I thought they would look super cute with the gold, blue and brown theme. 
and then the bow tie is going to go in the center and I just thought they looked so cute and then um, the little snack baggie there or dessert bag with the tie and there it is that's it guys it was pretty simple I think what gave me the most headache was those tin containers but really everything else was very simple and I had most things on hand I did have to go to Dollar Tree to get a couple things but everything else I had already purchased and I'm very happy with it I hope you enjoyed it I hope it inspires you to create maybe a Father's Day tablescape not something you see all the time but I'm so glad that I did I'm so glad that Antoinette invited me to join this collaboration guys don't forget to go down and visit the link down below with um, all the uh, videos and if you are visiting thank you for watching and I hope you consider subscribing if you have not subscribed yet and I hope you all have a blessed day